everybody, it's Alice K. Recklehouse from Threshold of Hineni, and I'm here to do another video with you, and I'm also here to apologize because I'm going to break my promise. I had said that in the next video we would do this really beautiful pocket, but I realized that there are some other things that we can do first that are easier, and I kind of want to work our way up. So I'm going to wait on this one, but we will do it. Okay, and so today we're going to do something that's really, really easy. I went through a bunch of note cards that I had and picked out a few. And you can get note cards at the Dollar Tree. That's a really great place to get them. Um, most thrift stores have like bags of greeting cards that you can get. Um, there's just lots of places that you can get greeting cards. You probably already have quite a stash of them. So I chose out six, which really might be too many, but I'm kind of hoping that I can fit them in. I like having greeting cards in my journal because it gives me more space to write and it also gives me something that can be inspiring because in this case, all of these things, well, all but two of them, have some inspiration in them already and I can add inspiration to the others. So I've got some other materials with me and I wanna show you a few different ways that we can put these in. So what I have is I have this card. I thought it was a postcard at first, but it's actually a note card. It says, do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. And each of these cards just really spoke to my heart as I went in and saw them. This one says, it's the little things in life that determine the big things. Okay. This one says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. John 14, one. this one, <laughs> my heart's really troubled today. So this I, I saw, I really needed it. Um, this one doesn't have anything inspirational, but it has a lot of flowers on it and the colors are pretty good for this journal. I'm not absolutely certain that I'll use this one, but I think I will. And then this one, I like, I've used this in a number of other journals too. I love the leaves on them. It's almost a little boho feeling. Um, and I think that it'll go well in here. The colors of the leaves are cold and so I'm not sure about it. So I'm not 100% sure that I'm gonna use this one. And then this one says, thank you. So I almost passed it up, even though it had the beautiful daisy, which goes perfectly with this journal. And then I thought, you know what? This would be a great place to list gratitude while I'm working on this journal. So that's what I'm going to use that one for. Okay, so let's start out by finding a place for each of these and I'm gonna kind of spread them out just so that I can see them so I know while I'm looking. I have not looked ahead of time. I'm doing this with you so that I can kind of talk it through with you and what I'm thinking. Now remember, this is not the cover. Okay, this is Oh, I can't get to the fabric, but this is just the first page. We're going to be doing the cover pretty soon. I put off doing the cover as long as I can because as the journal develops, I may change my mind on what I want the cover to be. Um, so I kind of put it off as long as I can, but I think I'm, I'm pretty decided because I've kept my mind on the same piece of fabric for this whole time for like, you know, a week. And so I think I'm going to be sticking with that. Um, and also because these pages are starting to get a little bit bent that are on the outside. So they need some protection. I'm not going to sew the pages into the cover when I make it, but I'll just have something to put on it to keep them a little bit better. Okay, so let's just go ahead and look through and start looking for a place for some of these cards. Now, one of these I'll have in the front. Um, and I think actually it's going to be this one. Okay, so we're going to set that magnolia one aside, and that will be inside the front cover. Okay, now, I think one of these would probably go in really well here. Now, they're all too big to go across, so we're going to have to turn them sideways, and that's all right. And I think what I'm going to do, there's, there's several ways that we could put them in, so we're going to do several different ways, I think. So this one, I think I'm gonna let it be a side pocket. No, because it'll flip out this way. Okay, so we're gonna have it flip out this way. So I'm gonna make it into a top pocket as well. So I'm going to center this, and this is just really, really easy. All we're gonna do is glue it. Um, I've got my glue here, and I'm going to glue this to the page, 
but so that it can open up this way. Okay, so this is gonna be the top right here. And so we're going to glue this down. And all of these I think are in keeping with the theme of the, the nature theme of the notebook, of the journal. Okay, so we've got all that glue there. And we're gonna put it as close to the side as we can. I don't wanna put it right exactly on the edge, but as close as we can. Okay, and then I'm gonna take one of my little cosmetic wipes because I don't want this to stick to anything that it shouldn't, and I see some glue coming out there. And I'm, you know, again, I'm pushing it down so that the, the glue gets spread out really nicely. I'm pushing it there and here. Here, I guess pushing across the top was fruitless because there's no glue at the top, right? <laughs> and then I am going to come in here and make sure that none of it got out where it'll catch on to anything else. So that's that. That one is finished and this won't fit in here, but just to show you, there's a pocket right here. Okay, so this will open up and then there's a nice little pocket here. Now I don't really like all this white, I just realized, and I should have done this before putting it down, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some distressing ink in here just to lightly give it some color take away that total stark white like I said I should have done this before I put it in but I didn't and I can do it afterwards that's fine move this over here so you can see what I'm doing a little bit more Just trying to take away some of the starkness here. Ah. Not sure how that's gonna work, but we'll try. <laughs> I could take the page out of the journal because it's not like it's sewn in yet. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it this way. And this will just make it a whole lot easier. Probably all that you're seeing are the round splotches from where I first put down the ink pad. I'm usually a little bit more careful, but like I said, today I'm a little oh, bothered by some things. <laughs> and so I'm not thinking as well. But it's okay. It makes kind of a cool design, actually. And it's not, um, I think probably in the camera, you're probably just seeing the places where it has the round spots, but it's actually getting the whole thing kind of brown. Okay, so that's good, and I can always come back and put more on there if I want. So that was super, super simple. We created a pocket and we added a card to our journal. Okay, the other thing is I wanna go through and just very quickly check and make sure that all the pages are right side up before I add anything more. Um, I noticed when I was going through yesterday that some of the pages had gotten upside down, and that happens. You know, when you pull the pages out to do things, sometimes they don't all end up back right side up. It's kind of important that they're right side up <laughs> before you add too much to them. Okay. So I just wanna check that one, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's fine, okay. Oh yeah, and that has flowers going both directions. Okay, I think that's what I saw that confused me. Okay, and I like our centerfold. We'll have to figure out something special to go there. Okay, so we're gonna look for places for these other four cards. Okay, we don't wanna have them too close together. We wanna kind of spread them out. That would definitely be, ooh, actually. Hmm, I kinda like that right there. What do you think? I think that's a good place. Okay, so this one we're gonna do a little bit differently. I was trying to debate whether I wanna have some cheesecloth under it or not, but I'm kind of leaning away from cheesecloth for this particular journal. I might do instead some lace, like around along the whole bottom of this. Wouldn't that be pretty? 
Okay, so I'm gonna do it across the bottom of this whole page. In fact, I might do it on the other side too. Nope, it's got a pocket over there. So just on this side. So I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna take this page out that we're gonna work on. Okay, and I'm gonna put it in sideways so that we don't lose the place that it belongs in. And I'm gonna set that aside for now. Okay, and then here's what I was saying was, there's a pocket right here, so I don't wanna put lace over that. So I'll just do it on this side, and that's fine. Kind of wish I had done it on the other side too, but can't go back and do that. I could very carefully stick it in there, I suppose, but I'm just gonna do it on this side. Okay, so cut it right here. And I'm gonna cut this in half lengthwise because I only wanna have that one part. And I'll save the other part for another page. Since a lot of these pages in this particular journal are all the same size, usually I have all different sizes, but this one is pretty much mostly the same. And I'm gonna sew that on there. So let's set these guys aside. That's the one I'm gonna use. This one I'm using inside the front cover. And I'll just sew it on right here. Okay, I'm gonna use zigzag and just sew it right to the bottom of the page. Oops, that's not zigzag. And I want it to hang off the page so that, um, so that when the journal is closed, <laughs> that kind of got away from me. <laughs> so that when the journal is closed, um, I need to set this part up here. When the journal is closed, there will be lace hanging down from it. Ah, kind of messed that up a little bit there, but I think we can work with it. Let me just get this attached here. I like to have some lace or cheesecloth or something hanging down in the bottom and I'm you know hoping that there will be at least one other place that we can add some lace for that. I'm just gonna clip that slightly, there we go. Okay, so I've got that lace added and then we want to add this. And what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put it in the corner like this. I'm not gonna glue it shut, we'll still be able to open it, but I'm just going to glue it here on the bottom and on this side so that it can be a tuck, okay? And I could sew it if I wanted to, but I'm gonna glue this. Okay, so this side and this side is where I'm gonna glue. Oops. I don't know if you guys can see where I'm putting the glue or not. I'm putting it close to the edge, but not right up to it. And I kind of run my nozzle of the glue through it to make it so it's not too thick. And see how this right here is kind of thick. So I'm gonna smooth that out because I don't wanna end up with it being thick and coming through the other side, you know, kind of making it difficult to write on. I'm going right down along the bottom edge over the lace. And this glue is great for that because this glue works well on fabric and everything else. It's wonderful glue. It's Crafter's Pick Ultimate. I love it. And I saw another junk journaler. I think it was Lindsay from Nevermore Creations, I believe, who was saying that it's her new favorite glue, which made me feel really good because it's like the only one that I have besides, um, besides a glue stick. <laughs> and, you know, I've been thinking, oh, I need to get some other kind of glue because this probably isn't good for everything, but it, it really is good for pretty much everything. Okay, so you can slip things in right here like this. It's a tuck, not a, not a pocket. Okay, a tuck is only connected on two sides where a pocket is connected on three. And then this still opens up to write on. And again, <laughs> I should have distressed this earlier before I glued it on. So I'll do that later. I'm not going to take your time with that right now. So I'm going to 
put this back around here. Did I get this right side up? Yes. Okay. And here's the <coughs> rest of the journal. Okay, so we've got two of our cards and so we have three more that we want to do. So let's kind of go for the back of the book. Here's our centerfold and let's just see where we can go from there. Again, I'm not real sure if I want this one because of the, I, I think I'm going to skip this one because of the cold color, the cool color leaves. Okay, I might come back and add it later, but I don't think so right now. Okay, so ooh, that's a possibility. I like that. There's also a dark green page. Let me see if I can find that because we need to put something on that. I really like that. Okay. Yeah, I really, really, really like that. Okay, so this one, how did we do the first one that we did? I wanna make sure I'm doing it differently. Yeah, okay. So this one we're gonna put on here, and this is gonna be a pocket. And it's gonna be a, let's see, yeah, we'll make it a side pocket. Um, so we will we'll glue the top, this side and this side, so it can be a side pocket, plus it'll still open up so that we can write on it. And I'll just distress the inside of that later. I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, so we're going to leave this side open. Okay. So I'm going to put my glue. I'm just gluing all of these guys in. And I think I'll put this down towards the bottom, actually, rather than having it close to the middle. There we go. Got something stuck on there something gross it looks like okay yeah I think I want that close to the bottom so that's nice because this page is really too dark to write on I just wanted it for a background and I got some glue on this page so let's clean that off so it doesn't stick closed and let's go ahead and smooth this all out get rid of that glue so it doesn't stick to the next page and then I'm gonna this this side here is not glued because that's the opening for a pocket I'm gonna smash this down and smash it out here and I see some coming out here so I don't want that to glue some pages shut <laughs> see and see how it's smooth over here okay if I didn't push it down real hard when I'm doing it then it'll be all bumpy there and it'd be hard to write on and it doesn't look nice and you know if yours gets bumpy don't worry about it too much my junk journals at first were always bumpy that way, but I figured this out and I thought that I would pass that tip on to you so that hopefully you don't have that problem. Okay, so that takes care of, we only have one more left. Okay, so this one, because of the way that it opens up, we can't really like glue it down because then we wouldn't be able to open it and I don't want to have it on the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the envelope. I am going to distress the envelope first though. Okay, so we're going to put it in the envelope. I should be doing this on top of the paper. Do I have something? Yeah. And we're going to have it so that the envelope can flip out and open, and then we can pull the card out. And I think that eventually when I add bookmarks, I'm going to add a bookmark that opens up to that page because I think I want to try to write on this card every day. I'm going to write just really small, but write things that I'm grateful for because that's always, you know, you guys, that's like so good for our mental health to have gratefulness, to be grateful. Okay, so then let's do the back of this. And I'm going to put something on the front of the envelope, too, and maybe even on the back. We'll see. But um, we can do that a different day. Today we're just going to get these in, and that's it. Hmm. I did have another way that I wanted to show you guys for putting a, a card in, so maybe I will still do that other one. Okay, so I've got that kind of distressed. And I'm just doing it now because it'll be harder after it's glued down. I'm gonna get all of this distressed. 
I'm thinking maybe a doily folded over this would be pretty. I'm not sure. I'm not going to do it today. I'll do it in another video. Okay. This is just harder to do once it's glued down, so I really need to do it now. Okay. There we go. That's good. going to use this one okay so let's what we're going to do to put this one on I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here and then we'll be able to slide it out and we're going to look for a place it's got to be a page that I don't mind kind of messing up like this one but is it big enough Ooh, no it's not it's got to be a full-size page in fact I'm not sure that we will have one why oh, that daisy would have been really cool. Okay, how about this? This might be. Is that? Yep, that'll fit. Let me make sure. Yep, it will. Okay. <clears throat> I think, right? Yeah. Okay, so when we sew in the binding, what we'll do is we'll flip it out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this part in right here. And then we're going to put something else on here in a different video. Okay, so but I'm going to glue this in. I'm almost out of glue and I did buy another bottle, which I probably should start. <laughs> you know, you hate to not use things up. Maybe I could use this one off camera more and use the new bottle on camera, I guess. Okay, and I want to smooth this out with the nozzle so that it's not all bumpy. Okay, and so here we go. And I'm going to... Okay, so for now, this kind of blends in with the paper, doesn't it? <laughs> We might not know it was there if we didn't have the distressing around the edges. Okay, but I do want to know it's there. I want to put something on that. Okay, and then this opens up and our card is there and we can pull it out. Okay, so how much time do we have left? I think we have enough time to do this other one. All right, so this one we're just going to put in, but we're going to put it in in a way that we can easily take it out. Let's find the page that we want to put it on first. Hmm there but maybe one of these yeah that's good actually because this is kind of cold okay so we'll put it here okay so what we're gonna do is we are going to hang some beads from a paper clip I'm gonna choose a yellow paper clip okay and where are my beads Oh, there they are. Okay. And then, now this you really do kind of need these tools for. If you don't have them, then don't try this. <laughs> you can skip it. Okay, but I have, I don't know what these are called, but this is like a round-nosed pliers, and then this is one that's more flat but pointed. Okay. And I got them in a beading toolkit, which I really like. I'll see if I can find one similar to it on Amazon. I can't remember where I got it, but if I can find one similar to it on Amazon, then I will link it below. Okay, so I think I'm going to use, if I can get it open quickly, I'm not sure if this has ever been opened or not. Ah. Is it? That's what I want right there. <laughs> That's the hinge. This is the opening edge. Oh yeah, I think it's still taped closed. Okay, so we're just gonna use silver because I can get into that quickly. All right, so what I've got is an eye pin, two inch eye pins, and I know that two inches is gonna look like, at first, like it's way too big, and you're gonna go, oh no, I need a smaller one. No, believe me, you need two inches because it'll take it all because you end up twisting some of it. Okay, so there we go with this. So we've got our paper clip, we've got our eye pin, and then I've got some beads here. I think. 
<laughs> there we go. All right. And, oh yeah. Well, I guess what we used earlier was the blue, huh? So we could use that again. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to put one of these little tiny beads at the bottom first and just use with what use whatever beads you've got. If you don't have any beads at home, then um, Walmart has them for really, really, really cheap. Okay, so this is going to actually be the top because that's what we're going to thread through the paper clip. Okay, where that eye is. Can you see that? Okay, Walmart has beads that are very, very inexpensive. And so you can get those. Okay, and I'm gonna put on maybe a couple more of these little tiny coppery looking beads. This is why I wanted the copper colored one, not the silver, but that's okay. And I just dumped a bead on the floor. When I'm done making a journal, then I will sweep and I'll get all my little beads that I can <laughs> from that. Because I don't like to lose them. Um, I think I'll use pink too. I think, if I can get through it. Wow, that one's got a little tiny hole. Okay, let's see what other pink ones we've got. Here's one that can come off. Okay, so we've got... Ooh, yeah, there we go. Okay, and then we'll do one more of the little copper colored beads if I can get it. Come here. Okay, one more little copper colored bead. Okay, and then, set those aside, I'm going to take my round nosed thing and I'm going to bend it not quite down to the bead, okay, but a little bit above that. I'm going to bend it like that. Okay, and then I'm going to, up at the top, I'm going to take it and I'm going to curl it. Curl it and curl it and curl it as much as I can. Okay, so that it's like that, it's nice and curled. So see, I've got that. I want to straighten this part back out. Okay, and then what I, so that's going to keep everything from falling off right there, what I just made. And then this top part, I'm going to string onto the paper clip. I have to pull it out just a little bit. Okay, now not this part, it wants to be this part because here's where we stick it on right here onto the paper and this is what's going to hang out and it'll look really cute hanging out from our um, from our thing and if we want to make it longer you can even attach more attach another eye hook to this okay but we're just going to make it this long and then I want to do one more thing to this with my round I'm going to take this and I'm going to curl it just a bit just because I like doing that. I saw somebody do it, I don't know who, when I first found out about these, and then I want to flatten it with this so it doesn't tear my paper. I saw somebody doing this and I thought that was just like the coolest, coolest thing ever to have these nice little curly cues in here, and I'll show it to you up close in just a minute. Okay, so I'm just putting it in there and curling it, and then I want to flatten it because see how this is sticking out? I mean, that'll just catch on your paper and tear it. So we just take this and flatten it. Okay, so see, it's it's just kind of cute. It's kind of whimsical. You don't have to do that, but I like it. And then it's got this little thing 